What's up guys, David here, and you may have heard about VPNs before. There are several reasons why schools and businesses use them around the world, but in today's video, we're gonna be looking at why a regular person like you and me would want a VPN installed on our phones and personal computers. So first things first, what the heck is a VPN? Well, not to get too complicated here, basically a VPN or a virtual private network allows you to access the internet in a way that is private, secure, and anonymous. VPNs create what's called a secure tunnel between your device and the server you're connecting to, and they encrypt all that data you send to the server and receive back from the server to keep any prying eyes from being able to see it. But the how here isn't as important as the why. So why should you use a VPN on your smartphone? Well, I'm gonna give you three reasons. The first we kind of already talked about, which is privacy and anonymity. When you connect to the internet, you usually do so using your ISP or internet service provider who can see what you're doing online and what websites you're visiting. This may not be an issue for you as you probably aren't doing anything illegal or embarrassing, but still, knowing that someone could be watching you do something as normal as having a conversation can be creepy. Okay. It's like a cut. You know? Yeah, we're gonna. When you use a VPN, all your data is encrypted, so your ISP can't actually see what you're doing online, and all they really see is that you're connected to a VPN. On top of that, the websites you visit online don't see your actual IP address, which can be tracked to your physical location. And instead, the websites only see the VPN's IP address, as all your data is technically being rerouted through that encrypted connection. So again, it's more private and anonymous. The second reason you should have a VPN installed on your phone is security, especially if you use public Wi-Fi hotspots like at a local coffee shop, which often have insecure connections that can be easily hacked. By using a VPN while on those Wi-Fi connections, all your data is encrypted, so the only thing a hacker or eavesdropper can see is a bunch of scrambled up encrypted data that doesn't make any sense. Finally, the third reason a VPN can be handy is when you're trying to access content that is blocked or otherwise unavailable in your home country. By using a VPN, you can reroute your connection through another country, essentially tricking websites into thinking that you're visiting them from the country you're rerouting to. So it's kind of like you're teleporting digitally. So let's say you're in the US and you wanna view content that is only available to people in Germany. Normally you're SOL, but with a VPN, you can set your region to Germany and access that content just like somebody who actually lives in Germany which is pretty cool. So those are the three main reasons why you should be using a VPN on your phone. But there can be a few potential downsides to using a VPN. The first is because the data you're sending across the internet is being encrypted and then decrypted back and forth in that secure tunnel, it can slow things down a bit. But that issue isn't as big of a deal if you're using a VPN with really fast servers or if you simply turn the VPN off when you have a need for speed. The second issue is some VPNs either charge you upfront to use their service or they charge you after you use up a certain amount of data. But again, this issue can be solved if you find find a VPN service that is free and unlimited. Which brings me to the sponsor for today's video in Opera VPN. So Opera has their new iPhone and desktop apps available for free with unlimited use on their super fast servers. And in addition to offering all the benefits that VPNs bring to the table, their app also has the option to block ads and stop online trackers from following you around the web. Just download the Opera VPN app from the App Store, open it up on your iPhone, hit install profile and allow it to add the VPN to your settings. After that, it's as simple as hopping into the Opera app settings and flipping the VPN switch to the on position. Super easy and once you do it, you'll see a VPN icon in the notification bar letting you know that anything you access on the internet, whether that's Facebook or using the browser, is now private and secure. Opera VPN is also available for Android, as well as being built right into the new Opera 40 browser for computers. I'll be putting all the links you need down below in the description, so check them out. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.